Imagine a weapon so fast it travels five times faster than the speed of sound. That's what hypersonic weapons are. Incredibly quick and maneuverable missiles that can zip past defenses. Why hypersonic? Regular jets like the ones we often see in the sky are speedy, but they have a pattern in how they move, which makes them kind of easy to figure out. That predictability makes it easier for others to stop them, like playing a game of catch with a ball you know the path of. But hypersonic weapons? They're like the superheroes of the sky. They move so fast and can change direction so quickly that catching them is like trying to grab a super fast bird with your bare hands. This makes it almost impossible for traditional defenses to keep up. Imagine trying to catch a lightning bolt. That's what it's like trying to stop a hypersonic weapon. Because they're so fast and can dodge around, they get to their target way quicker than regular jets, sneaking past defenses like a ninja in the night. It's like they've got a secret shortcut through the sky, leaving everyone else scratching their heads wondering how they got there so fast. Benefits for the U.S. Air Force hypersonic weapons bring significant advantages to the U.S. Air Force. Firstly, they act as a strong deterrent, meaning they scare off potential attackers. Imagine a bully thinking twice before starting a fight because they know their opponent has a super-fast, unstoppable weapon. That's the power of deterrence. Secondly, hypersonic weapons can penetrate even the toughest defenses. It's like having a secret key that can unlock any door, no matter how strong it is. This ability allows the U.S. Air Force to target important enemy locations, like military bases or strategic sites, without being stopped by their defenses. And finally, hypersonic weapons are incredibly fast and accurate. Picture a skilled archer hitting the bullseye every time with their arrow. That's how precise these weapons are. They can deliver powerful attacks exactly where they're needed, with pinpoint accuracy, ensuring maximum impact on the enemy. Overall, hypersonic weapons give the U.S. Air Force a significant edge in warfare. They make enemies think twice, penetrate defenses effortlessly, and strike with unmatched speed and precision. With these advantages, the U.S. Air Force can protect the country and its interests more effectively than ever before. In the race to develop hypersonic technology, it's not just the United States in the running. Big countries like China and Russia are also working hard to make strides in this field. Each country has its own reasons for diving into hypersonic research. China wants to stay on par with the U.S. and other nations when it comes to military power. They see it as crucial to their position as a major player in global defense. That's why they're putting a lot of money and effort into hypersonic technology. They believe that by investing in hypersonic weapons, they can ensure they're not left behind in the arms race. It's not just about keeping up with the competition, it's also about protecting their own interests. They want to show the world that they're a force to be reckoned with, capable of defending themselves and asserting their influence on the world stage. For China, hypersonic technology isn't just about having advanced weaponry, it's about securing their place in the world. They see it as a way to safeguard their sovereignty and maintain stability in their region. By developing hypersonic weapons, they hope to deter any potential threats and maintain peace and security in their territory. China's investment in hypersonic technology is driven by a desire to safeguard their national security and assert their position as a global superpower. They see it as a necessary step to ensure their continued strength and influence in an increasingly competitive world. Russia is also putting a lot of effort into developing hypersonic technology. They want to make sure their military stays strong and ready to defend their country. By investing in hypersonic weapons, Russia aims to protect its borders and show the world it's not to be messed with. They believe that having these advanced weapons could help them stay ahead in conflicts close to home and in talks with other countries. With hypersonic missiles, Russia hopes to send a clear message that it's a force to be reckoned with. This means they're working hard to make sure they have the latest and greatest technology when it comes to defense. For Russia, hypersonic development isn't just about military might. It's also about securing their place on the world stage. So they're pushing forward with their plans to build these super-fast weapons, knowing that they could make a big difference in any future conflicts. For all these countries, hypersonic technology isn't just about defense. It's also about projecting power and influence. By demonstrating their prowess in this area, they hope to deter potential threats and assert their dominance in global affairs. 
So while the U.S. may be leading the charge in hypersonic research, it's evident that China and Russia are right behind them, working hard to catch up. The competition is intense, with each country striving to be the best in this vital part of modern warfare. In recent years, China has made significant strides in hypersonic technology, investing heavily in research and development. They're determined to close the gap and assert their prowess on the global stage. Similarly, Russia has been making steady progress, leveraging their expertise in aerospace engineering to push the boundaries of hypersonic capabilities. This fierce competition isn't just about bragging rights, it's about securing strategic advantages and maintaining military superiority. Each nation knows that mastering hypersonic technology could tilt the balance of power in their favor, shaping the outcome of future conflicts. But the race isn't just between these major players. Other countries, too, are investing in hypersonic research, eager to stake their claim in this rapidly evolving field. As a result, the landscape of modern warfare is evolving at breakneck speed, with hypersonic weapons poised to play a central role in shaping its future. In this high-stakes game, innovation is key. Each breakthrough brings us closer to unlocking the full potential of hypersonic technology. And while the U.S. may currently hold the lead, the race is far from over. The coming years will undoubtedly see even more dramatic advancements as countries around the world push the boundaries of what's possible. Ultimately, the winner of this race will not only gain military dominance, but also shape the trajectory of global geopolitics. It's a competition with far-reaching implications, driving nations to push the limits of scientific and engineering prowess in pursuit of victory. Challenges of hypersonic flight traveling really fast with hypersonic speeds bring some big problems we need to solve. First off, the air around the flying object heats up a lot because of all the friction it faces. Imagine rubbing your hands together super fast. They get warm, right? Well, when something moves hypersonically through the air, it heats up big time. This intense heat can damage the flying object if we don't find a way to handle it carefully. Then there's the issue of making engines that can keep up with these crazy speeds. Think about it like this. It's like asking a car to drive at lightning speed without breaking down. It's not easy. Building engines strong enough to handle hypersonic travel is a real challenge that scientists and engineers are working hard to overcome. And let's not forget about steering. Imagine trying to control a rocket moving at hypersonic speeds. It's like trying to guide a speeding bullet with extreme precision. To do this, we need super smart guidance systems that can make split-second decisions to keep the flying object on track and hitting its target. So, in a nutshell, traveling at hypersonic speeds isn't just about going fast. It's about dealing with extreme heat, building super-powered engines, and using advanced technology to steer with precision. These are the big challenges we face as we push the boundaries of speed in flight. The future of warfare could be drastically different because of hypersonic weapons. These super-fast missiles might make old ways of fighting wars obsolete. Countries might need to come up with brand new plans and tactics to deal with these powerful weapons. However, there are worries about what might happen if every country tries to get hypersonic weapons. Some people are afraid it could lead to a big race to build more and more of them. Others are concerned that with so many hypersonic weapons around, there might be accidents that could start conflicts by mistake. To deal with these worries, countries are talking about putting limits on hypersonic weapons. They want to make sure that everyone stays safe and that the world doesn't become a more dangerous place because of these super-fast weapons. So, leaders from different countries are having discussions to figure out how to keep things under control. U.S. Air Force takes the lead. Recently, the United States Air Force made a big move. They tested a hypersonic weapon, showing everyone how powerful it can be. This test was a big deal because it proved that hypersonic technology is really important in today's wars. The U.S. test showed that they are leading the way in this new type of warfare. By successfully testing this hypersonic weapon, they made it clear that they're at the forefront of military technology. This sends a strong message to other countries about the U.S.'s capabilities and determination to stay ahead. This test wasn't just about showing off. It was also about proving that hypersonic weapons are not just a theory anymore. They're real, and they're ready to be used. The success of this test has put the U.S. in a powerful position on the global stage. Now other countries are paying attention. They know that if they want to keep up, 
they need to invest in hypersonic technology too. The U.S. test has set a high bar, and other countries will have to work hard to catch up. But this isn't just about competition. It's also about security. Hypersonic weapons could change the way wars are fought, and the U.S. wants to make sure it's prepared for that change. By taking the lead in testing this technology, they're taking steps to protect their interests and keep their people safe. The recent test by the U.S. Air Force is a significant milestone in the development of hypersonic technology. It demonstrates the importance of staying ahead in modern warfare and sends a clear message to the world about the capabilities of hypersonic weapons. What's next? The future of hypersonic technology is full of questions. Picture this. It could completely change how wars are fought, like turning a page to a new chapter in a book. Or it could become a barrier, stopping big conflicts from happening in the first place. Imagine a big stop sign for war. But why all the uncertainty? Well, let's break it down. Hypersonic weapons are like new tools in a toolbox. We're still figuring out how to use them best. Some say they'll make wars faster, more intense, like a sudden storm. Others believe they'll make countries think twice before starting a fight, like a strong lock on a door. Think of it like this. If hypersonic technology was a new gadget, we're still learning how to use all its features. We're not sure if it's going to be the next big thing or just a cool idea that doesn't quite work out. The thing is, hypersonic weapons could be a game changer. They might force countries to rethink their military strategies, like rewriting the rules of a game. But there's a flip side too. If everyone has hypersonic weapons, it could make conflicts even more dangerous, like adding fuel to a fire. That's why some folks are talking about putting limits on hypersonic weapons. It's like setting rules for a game to make sure it's fair for everyone. But deciding on those rules, that's the tricky part. Whether hypersonic technology leads to a revolution in warfare or serves as a peacekeeper is still up in the air. It's like waiting to see how a story ends. Only time will tell if hypersonic weapons become the heroes or the villains in the tale of future conflicts. While the U.S. Air Force is working hard to test hypersonic weapons, in recent developments, several fighter jets have been proposed or are under development to carry hypersonic missiles. These include 1. SR-72 the SR-72 is an ambitious aircraft project led by the United States. Its goal? To create a super-fast jet that flies at hypersonic speeds using scramjets. Now what's a scramjet, you ask? Well, it's a special type of engine that can propel an aircraft at incredibly high velocities. Think of it like a supercharged rocket engine, but designed specifically for flying really, really fast. The idea behind the SR-72 is to have a plane that can zoom through the sky at speeds beyond Mach 5, which is five times faster than the speed of sound. That's like traveling from one end of a football field to the other in less than a second. It's lightning fast. But why all the fuss about speed? Well, being able to fly at hypersonic speeds means the SR-72 could reach targets much quicker than traditional aircraft. This could give the U.S. military a big advantage in getting to places fast and striking with precision. So, the SR-72 isn't just any ordinary plane. It's a cutting-edge piece of technology that could change the way we think about air travel and military operations. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's real, and it's happening right now. Keep an eye on the skies because the SR-72 might just be the future of flight. 2. MiG-31 by Russia the MiG-31, a well-known interceptor aircraft with a long history, is currently being upgraded to carry hypersonic missiles. This means that the MiG-31, which is already known for its speed and ability to intercept enemy aircraft, will soon have the capability to launch missiles that travel at incredibly fast speeds. This upgrade is significant because it allows the MiG-31 to not only defend airspace, but also to deliver powerful attacks against enemy targets with hypersonic precision. With this adaptation, the MiG-31 becomes even more versatile and formidable in modern warfare scenarios, contributing to Russia's efforts to enhance its military capabilities. 3. 2160 m by Russia, known as a big, powerful bomber plane, is getting upgrades to carry hypersonic weapons. This means it will be able to launch these super-fast missiles during its missions. Russia sees this as a way to enhance its strategic capabilities and stay ahead in military technology. The 2160M's ability to carry hypersonic weapons adds a new dimension to its role in defense strategies, making it a formidable force in modern warfare. 
4. Su-34 by Russia, a versatile fighter bomber known for its ability to carry out various missions, is being considered to carry hypersonic missiles. This aircraft is designed to fly long distances and deliver precise strikes on targets on the ground and in the air. With its spacious cockpit and advanced avionics, the Su-34 provides a comfortable environment for its crew during extended missions. Now, Russian engineers are exploring ways to equip the Su-34 with hypersonic missiles, enhancing its capabilities and effectiveness in modern warfare. These aircraft represent efforts by both the U.S. and Russia to integrate hypersonic technology into their respective military arsenals, marking significant advancements in the field of hypersonic warfare. And remember, if you found this information helpful and insightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest developments in military technology. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Share it with your friends and colleagues who might also be interested in learning about hypersonic weapons and their implications for the future of warfare. We also encourage you to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions. Your feedback is invaluable to us, and we'd love to hear from you. Together, let's continue to explore the fascinating world of hypersonic technology and its impact on global security. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.